Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I'd like to thank everybody for joining me on this quick video today. And we're going to be discussing what I talked about in a video that I did last week that I'll put a link to in the description below. And what I want to talk to you about is it's very simple for you all to prep. Prep. It is a very easy thing to do while you can still do it food shortages and stuff are coming. So when you go to the store and you needed that one can of spaghetti sauce, don't forget to pick up the second can and put it in your pantry for a rainy day. Now, I did notice when I went to the store and stuff that these spaghetti sauces, these Hunt sauces were still 98 cents, folks. Do you believe that? I mean, hey, that's a good deal. You got um, a lot of different products and everything else. So when you're going into the store, making sure that you are grabbing, you know, oh, I needed a box of pasta to go with that. So I got a box of pasta. Well, I picked up another box of pasta to put in my emergency supply kit because that's what you're gonna do to build your stockpile so that you and your family will be secure in a food shortage crisis situation that we will probably be entering in towards the end of this year. It's only a matter of time, folks, before they start putting limitations and putting a control on what you are buying. All right, so you need to get out there and start doing this now. If you do this as I did, all right, when you go to the store, you just buy two. I got two cans of sauce, I got two two boxes of pasta, I got two cans of green beans, I got all this kind of stuff, and I've got plenty of green beans that are over here on the shelf, but I just keep adding to my stock. You see what I'm saying? It's not like you're going in there and you're hoarding. They can't label you as hoarding because you're only buying two. You're just getting two. You see what I'm saying? I went in there today, I was like, okay, they still have their chicken at Walmart for a buck ninety-nine. I bought two packs. I didn't empty the shelf out, just got two packs. You know, um, we eat yogurt and stuff here, I got two packs. You know, you need coffee, you buy two. Loaves of bread, you can freeze them, buy two. So you see what I'm saying, all right folks? Make sure that you're implementing the buy two and this way here, it's gonna save you in the long run. Trust me folks, it's gonna save you in the long run, it's gonna save you a lot of money when these prices and stuff go skyrocketing up to the moon, all right, just like SpaceX going up there and putting satellites, that's what the prices are going to be doing. They're going to be flying up and going up and up and up, and then you're not going to be able to afford to put the food on the table. And that's what I'm trying to avoid in helping you and reminding you to do this simple thing. You gotta do. All right, folks. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this quick video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. You get out there. Buy two. And this way here, you and your family will slowly build that emergency stockpile, and you'll be amazed at how much money you're gonna save come the end of the year. So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Amen.